Hi folks. Today I'm in Liang and this isn't really what I'd call a tourist destination but it's an important place for Kamegan in a lot of ways. Uh, that's the uh, that's the lighthouse over there. And uh, it's not what I call a very picturesque lighthouse, but it's a lighthouse. And across the Bohol Sea there, you can see uh, that's that's the island of Mindanao. And <coughs> this this location is important for a few reasons. Uh, this is where the electricity comes to Kamegan through an, under, an underwater cable. And that cable is uh, 53 miles long and it goes to uh, Mizumi Oriental where it comes from there. And the switching yard is over here. This is a, a map of, of the area. Uh, this is Kamegan Island here. Leong is here. And Asa'an is here. And the cable goes from here up, up to Leong right here. Uh, this is Balingawan here. And down here is Cagayan de Oro. This is a look at the switching yard. So this is where all all uh, Kamegan's electricity comes from. Now originally they didn't plan on having an underwater cable. Uh, what they planned on doing was to uh, have a hydroelectric plant and they were going to dam they were going to dam up to Watson Falls <laughs> and use that uh, the water from that falls as the electricity for Kamegan, but for reasons I, I'm, I, I'm not really sure about, they they didn't wind up doing that. They uh, they decided to go instead with a uh, they decided to go instead with underwater cables. So that's where Kamegan gets its electricity. And uh, while we're talking about electricity, I wanna mentioned that Kamegan hasn't had electricity all that long. Uh, it wasn't until 1991 that this that this island was fully energized with electricity. Uh, before that parts of the island were uh, Mindanao, I mean Mambahao had electricity for I think four or five years before the rest of the island got it and I think they were running generators over there to get that electricity uh, but with these cables installed here the uh, <coughs> the whole island is now got electricity so it really hasn't been that long since since the electricity came to Kamegan Island. So I'm on the beach here and over there where that funny looking island is, that's uh, Balingawan and that's that's the port to get to from Kamegan over to Mindanao. It's over that way. I don't see any ferries right now, but the electricity comes from over there. It's uh, 50, 53 kilometers 
long cable and there's actually two cables uh, they put a second one in in case the first one failed because uh, that cable is getting old now so they uh, they put a second one in just in case that first one fails and <coughs> so that's one reason that it's the uh, that this area is important now there's a, there's a second reason why why this area is important and what's been proposed is that uh, the governor wants to put a solar slash wind farm here in this location and I guess it's going to be about 10 hectares altogether uh, so this may look a lot different in the not too distant future this uh, there may be a lot of solar panels over here and some windmills and I gotta say that the windmills will probably always be be working this this area this area here is pretty windy pretty much all the time uh, the solar I'm not too sure about because it's overcast on this part of the island a lot of the time I should point out too that uh, Leong is on almost exactly the southernmost part of of Camigan Island and they uh, they put it here because I guess it was the shortest distance that they could find in order to to get that uh, get the electricity from from Mindanao so this may be a solar wind farm before too long so it won't look like this anymore and you can see that they store a lot of stuff over here they store uh, these electrical poles and wire and cable and stuff like that so it's more than just for switching they do other things here too they use this as storage as well